Okay, guys. We will be reacting to the new Super Smash Brothers trailer. Um, how do you say it? Um, the video came out early yesterday, so I couldn't see it. I was at school, so I wanted to do is today. We can watch it. I downloaded it so that we can watch it today. And let's watch it. Okay. It's Dark Souls? What is Microsoft doing with freaking... With freaking... Nintendo now? Oh, but then again, they already use that phone. Dude. It might be Castlevania, I don't know. Dude, what is Luigi doing here? Is this like, I don't know, sponsoring Luigi's Mansion for some? Oh, I'm on! Would survive, guys. He's probably gonna be dead. Mm. Oh, trip. Oh, all link. That's him. Oh, what's that? What's happening? Hello, I'm Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited. This is a follow-up to our recent announcement about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Without further ado... The Legendary Vampire Hunter is here. The Legendary Vampire Hunter from the Castlevania series, Simon Belmont, is finally joining the roster. He's been given a bit of a makeover. Oh, sorry, guys, sorry. sorry. His signature item is, of course, his holy whip, the far-flinging vampire killer. It leaves you open to attack, and it's a bit slow, but I think its average reach during normal attacks is longer than any other fighters. He can move the whip freely. His special attacks are very recognizable. The axe. Okay, that's kind cross. of clever right there. The cross. Holy water. Why? I mean, yeah, but... And uppercut. While they may seem simple, they are very powerful. Die, Wario. And his final smash is called Grand Cross. Well, good thing they have a voice actor for him. Dracula's Castle. Simon's stage is none other than Dracula's Castle. It's the darkest of stages in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. When an attack hits one of the candlesticks, an item will appear. 
In this stage, bosses from across the Castlevania series will rear their ugly heads. They make Dracula's castle feel true to the world from whence they came. And when speaking of Castlevania, you can't forget to mention the music. For this stage, we will incorporate 34 music tracks, including new and classic tunes. The Castlevania series is very popular among our music team, and they were excited to work on these arrangements. Once in a blue moon, Simon's immortal rival will appear. Dracula. Reborn every 100 years, he is eternally fated to wage war against descendants of the Valmont clan. Under what conditions will he appear? Time will tell. Now, for a brand new assist trophy. Alucard, son of Dracula, will land in steel and battle. He wields the chrysogram, transforms into a bat, and dodges attacks by assuming Mist Lore. He's very similar to his starring role in Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Like other assist trophies, he's susceptible to attack and KO as well. Nevertheless, he'll prove to be quite talented. And we have one more fighter for you. The vampire hunter who starred in classics like Castlevania Rondo of Blood, Richter Belmont, joins the battle. Richter is an echo fighter based on Simon. Though his strengths are the same, his look, voice, and animations all set him apart. Besides, the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate version of Simon can perform. Okay, first of all, guys, that's kind of a lie because he's an ancestor. Okay, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll stop, yeah. More moves derived from Richter in his original games, so it's hard to say who's really echoing who. I hope you'll enjoy them both. Farewell! <laughs> I'd like to introduce two more Echo Fighters from completely different series while we're on the topic. Please take a look. Okay, who's it gonna be? That's Fire Emblem, obviously. Freaking level. and Dark Samus join the battle. You may have seen this coming. Both fighters have been highly requested. No, they're each slightly different than the I fighters they're based on, so pick whoever you enjoy most. As you can see, depending on your settings, you can either display all Echo Fighters separately on the Fighter Select screen or stack them with the fighters they're based on. When stacked, you can switch between them with the press of a button. What? These people are this time, we plan to reveal the design of every fighter before the game launches. We'll have a few more to announce later, so stay tuned. Okay. Stages. For stages, we're mainly including returning favorites. Allow me to introduce some of the stages we haven't shown before. Oh, oh, oh. 
We put a lot of effort into enhancing the look of the stages and rebalancing oh, them as well. That, that was cool. I like the music. It was really. That said, for stages that originally appeared in the Nintendo 64 game, we prioritized nostalgia, intentionally keeping the classic Wait, look. The stage oh, total is turning crazy. out to be pretty impressive. Let's compare it to the totals in previous games. Now the total number of stages is, voila, 103. We must be crazy. If we exclude Battlefield, Final Destination, and Big Battlefield, we'd have exactly 100. But take a look at the stage select screen. Every stage okay, so can also be transformed into both Battlefield and Omega form, so the total number of stages is actually oh, more than 300. All of these stages can be played in 8 player battles, and they are all available from the beginning. Additionally, you have the option to turn off stage hazards. When you're looking for a change of pace and don't want to be interrupted by hazards, select this option for a less chaotic experience. Also, the order of the stages matches the order in which they were introduced in the series, just like the fighters. Regarding stages, we have a little surprise. Please take a look. Check that out. While playing, the stage can transform around you. But first, you must select the Stage Morph option. Then, you can pick two stages on the Stage Select menu. Feel free to choose any stages you'd like and have fun. Gonna... For the player who wants it all, My Music lets you select specific tracks for each stage, and this feature is making a return. Until now, each stage had its own set of music tracks, okay. but this time, the tracks are organized by series instead. Oh. For example, as long as you're playing on a stage based on the Legend of Zelda series, you can pick any of the tracks included from that series. Now for the total number of music tracks from stages. This is also ultimate. More than... Okay. Oh wow, 800 more than 800 tracks. It must be crazy. And if we count other types of music, like menus and fanfare, then there's actually about 900 compositions. 900? If you played them all in a row, without looping or stopping, there's more than 28 hours worth of music. These game franchises are a big part of video game history and the result is a massive library of memorable music. All of this packed into one game. Oh, this cool. in itself is extraordinary. Of course, there's a sound test menu as well. For your browsing pleasure, we've sorted all of the tracks by game series. It's like having an album for each series. If a track has no corresponding fighter or stage, or if it's from one title rather than a series, it can be found in the other section. You can create your own playlists too. Sort them in any order you like, anytime, as much as you want. Time music. In handheld mode, you can play music while the screen is turned off. It's kinda like using your Nintendo Switch as a music player. Oh, so I get it now. That sounds kinda cool. A huge variety of music has been collected for the game, and you can sample some of these tracks on the official website. We're planning to add selections basically every week, so please stay tuned. Some of you may have experienced the game already, but I'd still like to show you some things about the multiplayer battle rules. Now the first thing you will select is the rules. If you create your own rule set, you can immediately begin playing with those rules at any time. In addition to time battle and stock battle, stamina battle is now treated as one of the standard smash modes. There's a different feeling of intensity in these battles.
This time, stage selection comes before fighter selection. This way, you can pick a fighter based on how well suited they are for the stage. Or let the last battle's loser pick the next stage to even the odds. In Sudden Death, you not only start with 300% damage, but the camera will steadily zoom in. This creates a nice sense of urgency. What is it for? Chargeable final smashes are now a selectable option. During a match, your final smash meter will fill, and then, once it's maxed out, you can use a weaker final smash. When you apply this option to a match, things can get really flashy. If you're up for a party, please try it out. By the way, no two final smashes will happen simultaneously. Oh, that sucks. Battle modes. Some there are other additions to the battle modes too. Squad strike. We've added in squad strike. It's a 5 on 5 or 3 on 3 elimination style battle to decide the winner. Each player will use 5 consecutive fighters in one battle, but it might be fun for multiple players to take turns as well. We're also including tourney mode. Choose the number of players and CPU participants and the game will automatically structure a tournament bracket. Up to 32 players can join the tournament, so it's great for parties too. Smash down. We're adding a special smash mode called Smashdown. After a battle in this mode, the previously selected fighters will no longer be available to use in the next battle, so each player must select a different fighter. It definitely pays off to be skilled with multiple fighters. You could also strategically pick a fighter your opponent is good with before they can. The new training mode will feature an exclusive stage. We've displayed a grid so it's easy to measure distance and more. You can also display launch distance. Oh, that's cool. Cool. The red line predicts your trajectory at 0% damage and the blue line is for 100% damage. The fighter's weight is factored in at the moment of impact. The single player mode in which players battle against a series of fighters will return in the form of classic mode. Each fighter has a set series of stages and opponents they will face. Now, let me introduce you to some new items, Pokemon and assist trophies. Let me guess, it's going to be Gen 7 Pokemon finally.
Back to base. Oh. Considered special guests, and another powerful one has just arrived. Huh. Monster Hunter. Yup, it is. Wait, what is From the Monster Hunter series, mm -hmm. Rathalos swoops in. I don't know who the heck Rathalos is. He appears as a boss. But he can also he show up as an assist trophy. Oh, that sounds cool. Actually, he's what the first character to appear as like, both. Are we gonna have a game mode or just what? Before we go? Oh, okay. Before we go, I'd like us to take a quick look at the main menu. The main menu? Okay. As you can see, there's a mysterious mode here, but we can't talk about that just- Wait, why can't we talk about that? I think that is going to be the story mode, and maybe that's the classic, or that's going to be classic over there, the, the, over here on the games and stuff, but I feel like that's story over here. Yes. story. Also, there's a dashboard on the right side of the screen. This can be accessed at any time by pressing the ZR button. ZR button? Options and control descriptions are listed here as well. That's all for today's announcement. The entire development team is putting all of their energy into finishing the game, so please be patient until launch day. Thank you so much for watching. I feel like this is kind of obvious to everyone's been playing it, so I think I know who it is. It's Danky King, guys! Look, it's Danky King! Well, let me guess, it's King K. Rule. Mm -hmm, it has to be the sucker. Really? You gotta be holding us? You're a jerk. Oh, that's what you deserve, boy. That's what you deserve for him. Oh. Thank <laughs> you. 
cool, guys. I liked it. Oh, let's see. Ooh. That was cool. Oh, wait. Simon's there. Someone's probably added there. Someone's added there. Someone's added there. I feel like there's probably even more, because... I don't know, I know. Look, um... I think that's it for right now. Later, they have to, like, look for more. Because I, I saw from the picture that it was, like, probably empty. So, I don't know. I think that's it, guys. I thought it was cool. Um, I felt bad how Luigi was there. And then I'm sc I was like, I was like, oh, no, he died. Or he, he passed out. Or he had exorcism, like, demons and stuff. But, no, nah, he just freaked out so much to the point he couldn't handle it um i'll see you on the next episode and well not ex next episode but next video and yeah i have to go to school tomorrow so bye which is tomorrow but